Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome to an unboxing video. So, it's not the usual stuff that I normally unbox, you know, considering that I've done card games and I've gone into Beyblade. Now, this is something that I am a passionate fan for myself. And if you guys are familiar with the text, there we go. So, <laughs> if you guys have seen my community post on YouTube, you have already seen the box from its back end. Uh, for those who actually own the product, they already know what this is. But for those of you who have no idea what it is, there it is. It is the 25th Anniversary Color Evolution Digivice, which is the original Digimon Adventures Digivice, but you know, it's in this anniversary collection. Apparently, there are so many variants of these anniversary Digivices that it's just ridiculous to collect them all because they are just getting way too expensive. I remember that back in the day when I bought this um, Digivice um, when Digimon Adventures was still airing on the local television here in Singapore. Um, these Digivices didn't even cost three digits. <laughs> <laughs> These collectible Digivice, even though they are technically the playable kinds like the ones we had in the past, but colored editions, um, they only cost like double digits the most, below even 50 Singapore dollars. So if you want to con uh, consider what it is in American dollars, it's about maybe 40-ish US dollars um, back then. So this thing, it is a collectible item. Uh, I am going to open it up and I'm going to play with it um, because I want to relive my nostalgic childhood. So here we go. Uh, yes, I do collect stuff but I am not to the hardcore uh, end where I actually want to like um, grade my collections and all that kind of stuff. So I, I'm not that crazy. <laughs> okay, so if you guys do collect uh, Digivices and all that kind of stuff let me know in the comment section down below if you have any of the variants that are out there in the world and of course you know which tell me tell me your thoughts like which Digimon series is your favorite personally for me myself the biggest one that gave me the biggest impact is Digimon Tamers um, the third generation so the one with the card slashing device Oh, there it is So yes, you can tell that I got myself the Tai Chi edition I didn't go for the Yamato one uh, If you guys don't know what uh, who Yamato is The English word, uh, name of Yamato is Matt um, So yes, I went with Tai Chi, uh, Agumon I wish there were the other Digidestined Children variants But sadly to say, uh, they didn't You know, as always, they only create the ones for the main characters Well, everyone in the Digidestined family is a main character <laughs> but you know the, the main the main two <laughs> uh, the ones that can actually uh, joggers and become Omnimon and look at the box my goodness this thing is so shiny this is this is lovely oh my goodness okay I'm gonna keep the paper because I want to preserve the box as well this thing is looking very very nice all right here we go digimon adventure digivice 25th color evolution dx set tai chi yagami here we go so we're gonna take a look at all the sides here so apparently that's all from the top layer of the box so we're gonna we go this thing out here we go 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 it is not as heavy as i thought it would be and there we go we have the full set Oh, now I see why this thing is cheaper than most of the general collections. Ah, okay, okay. I'm liking that the second layer box inside. Oh, so that, oh the symbols. Oh. So for those of you who can actually read Digimon text, let me know what this means. I, I can't be bothered to go and learn everything about this uh, series. But it's cool that they included it. I wonder what this, what this means. Does there have like some hidden law behind the text? Let me know in the comment section down below. And of course, so the thing about this series is it, is it gives out the crest. If For those of you who have collected all the past Digimon um, P-Bandai stuff, you know that the crest 
and the pendant was a different set separately um, back in the day. So this set used to be as expensive as the collectible version of the Digivice alone. So I'm surprised that they managed to bundle this together for the 25th anniversary. Um, and they even gave more stuff. So the main reason why it's much cheaper now is because they don't have a sole packaging just for this alone. Um, so yeah. And inside here, okay, we get something a bit different from all the other Digivices. So the traditional old Digivices used to run on batteries that you can actually replace, but this one has a rechargeable battery. So um, for collectors out there, it's kind of a headache because, well, you, unless you open up the package and remove the battery, you're gonna have issues with battery leakage if you don't take it out of the box and kind of like charge it and use it once in a while and of course the battery will end up dying if you don't do so as well so for collectors it's gonna be a problem with selling off at a much later date they even gave like a kind of a metal chain a very cheap looking metal chain and of course the promo digimon card for the Digimon card game. So for those of you who have been following my channel for the Digimon card game, hopefully you are still guys. You mean I hopefully you guys are still interested in like in the Digimon card game collectibles. This is definitely one of the other reasons why I had to get the DX set as well because of this Digimon promo card. As a collector, I would definitely love to have every single one of the Digidestines in the card itself rather than have to collect every single um, tamer as a you know a card and then and put it in a card collector album. You know, this is just one that is good enough for everything else. <laughs> uh, sadly to say, I don't play the Digimon card game anymore for those of you who have been following the channel during the time of the Digi Digimon card game series on my channel. Um, yeah, I stopped around um, BT12, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, and then I think now it's like what, BT16, 18, I don't know. I don't know how many there are anymore, but yeah, the game has gone a bit uh, out of hand um, ever since like the fun director for Digimon card game has left the company. But yeah, anyways. So then of course there is the anniversary art book, the Device 25th Color Evolution. So yeah, so the two artworks for the two different DX sets. Uh, as you've seen, I only got the Tai Chi one. There are some of my friends who have bought every single variety of the Digivice. I don't have that kind of money, but uh, yeah, good for them. <laughs> yeah, so I would love to have owned both of them, but uh, I can't afford to buy all the variations because what am I going to do with all the extra stuff? Like, considering that now I've seen the package, I don't think you can just you know, sell the bonus stuff and keep the Digivice alone because it's just gonna look very awkward. Um, yeah, so inside the box, 1999 to 2024, so they've stated the dates since the first animation series. Yeah, the box is actually very nice in quality. If you guys are like looking to use it for like, holding up stuff, so back warning labels probably all about the age usage and of course the battery, um, you know. Yeah, so of course seeing the, the the sticker for the toy animation proves that this is a legitimate item. So very very nice. All right, okay, so let's take a look at the actual thing itself. Okay, I'm, I won't be opening up the art booklet because um, the main reason why we are buying all this limited edition stuff is to have all these things and uh, it wouldn't be fair to all the people who have bought all these things to kind of like openly share the images uh, at least in terms of like the Japanese beliefs um, because we pay for it right so it shouldn't be given out for free on the internet <laughs> so a lot of people will disagree to that terms but that's how it is in Japan and the Japanese people so gotta respect the culture okay so let's take a look at the device itself um, let's pop this open okay it's nice that, you know, it's easy to take off and it doesn't warp 
the, the material because there are some very cheap looking plastic stuff out there and then when you just rip it apart it just gets destroyed so of course this thing the quality is not as good as the one that was previously sold um, you know in the past uh, the material is very thin and decently cheap looking it is not exactly very bad in quality but you can definitely feel that this thing is not as premium as it was in the past um, let's take out the pendant and let's try slotting this in so this thing yeah it's it's full plastic it is full plastic the only thing metals is basically the chain and the screws and it's nice that we have like the 25th anniversary digimon animation uh, imprinted onto the plastic so yeah you can actually slide this thing in uh, unfortunately it is not the kind that has lights <laughs> like the old one <laughs> i think for hardcore collectors they probably would have gone with the original version of the, the crest and the pendant uh, if you are looking to collect everything but this is a nice budget um, way to collect you know as a digimon fan so very very nice okay so probably should consider like a very nice display stand to have all this and maybe even frame up the, the different crests together yeah that probably would be a nice idea let me know any creative ideas in the comment section down below so we're gonna take a look at the main item i think it's the digivice so let's let's put this aside okay let's see buttons feel a lot nicer than the original that i played in the past this this is actually a rubbery button so in the past i mean it was uh, the, the buttons were plastic in the past so but this one has rubber um as its buttons and it does have that friction so you know you know because the the, the digivice is on a angled surface so when you press down you end up sliding off so i guess they make the buttons rubber so that you don't slide off the buttons so easily um yeah and i like that it's gone back to its original um, transparent style you can see the whole circuit board stuff i love transparent items this is very cool looking at least to my um standards <laughs> um yeah so let's see how do i power this thing on is there like a switch to power this on hmm. uh, is it this one or is this the cable ah it's the usb-c cable port wow look at the rubber when you stretch it further it goes white that's not a good sign especially if you had to plug this in and out very often i have a feeling this might break eventually in the future Oof, this is not a good sign for collectors <laughs> um yeah so let me go and figure out how to power this on and i will be right back okay so after pulling out the instruction piece of paper here um at the back it actually says that you have to press and hold the b button for five seconds and of course the rest of the information is telling you basically how um you should take note of like the battery conditions and of course uh, how you should be charging your device so yes apparently this device is not capable of overnight charging because it doesn't have the uh, smart computer system to monitor your battery conditions and all that kind of stuff so for people who are planning to play their digivices please take note do not overcharge your dig digivices if it's fully charged immediately plug it out from the cable um, yeah and of course for those of you who are having problems turning on the devices mainly because maybe the battery is a bit old or doesn't contain any charge just charge up the device and hopefully it does turn 
on. Uh, for those of you who are buying the devices off second-hand market at a much much later date from when it was released, uh, you gotta pray that your battery is still alive <laughs> and you wouldn't have to like buy a replacement battery and take it apart and replace it. So under the device, you can actually see the battery is there, this white cell thing here. Luckily, this device is translucent, you can actually see it there. So I don't know what, what kind of specific third-party battery you might have to buy just to replace the, the, the Digivice battery if there's any. Uh, I'm sure the Digivice community out there uh, is going to give you all the information. I unfortunately am not part of that kind of community. I just play with what I have. Uh, if they do die, then I, of course I would go up and research on, on the stuff myself eventually when the time comes. But for now, I have zero information information on this so good luck for those of you who are watching this video in the future <laughs> all right so let's put this aside let's turn this thing on um, so yeah so press and hold the B button oh I love that it's in black and white and it transi transitions to the colored form so that shows the generational change very very nice so uh, while testing this thing out apparently I found out that this button here is no longer a single press button in the past it just does one thing only but now they kind of like dissected the button with a line so it does control up and down if necessary so that's pretty cool and of course um, the accept button is the A button here and of course the B button being cancelled so yeah I'm gonna choose my buddy Takeru because well Patamon is my favorite Digimon from the first gen <laughs> angels right so <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah. Oh, that glows. Oh wow. Oh, full voice. Okay, and the speaker is surprisingly loud. So the speaker is here. My goodness, this thing is surprisingly now loud. Okay, so it's asking me to set the time. So AM PM. So it's almost five. It's uh, four forty-eight. I'm gonna put it as that. Go backwards because it's gonna be easier. So you can actually hold down. Eight. There we go. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa! What is this? Please don't copyright my video. No, 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 no! Don't copyright my video. <laughs> oh, vibrations! Oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. Collector this device, nice, nice. That is the same color as the one that we have. Oh, goggles, Taiki's goggles, I guess. Why do we need them though? Is that Karage with Digi Destined Picks? Oh my goodness, why is it playing the butterfly song? No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. <laughs> this video is so getting copyright strike. Oh god, okay, so. Let's see, so we, we pressed the A button and we went into settings, apparently you have Digimon, you have power off, settings, play mode, linking, recover, why is it greyed out? So recover is not selectable, hmm, map, okay, so under Digimon, we have partner, oh you can change your partners, really? So you can play as anybody you want? Anytime? Really? You don't have to start the whole venture again? That's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, question marks. Is that Gatomon? Wait, why are there so many question marks? How many new Digimons are there? Interesting. Okay. So, Bond. Oh, you can see your friendship level with the Digimon. Okay. Digivolution. Oh. Okay, so I'm guessing that you can see the whole evolution line of whatever Digimons you have partnered with before and evolved to before. So that's pretty cool. So they are giving you best of both worlds. So it basically has like the collectible version of the Digivice system inside where it only shows you evolution, animations, and music. Um, this one has basically playable factor as well, so that's really a bang for your buck. Hmm. Okay. 
So that's all for the Digimon option or rather the partner option. Friend? Wait, what? You can add friends? You can add friends? Is this a thing now? Interesting. So, power off. Oh, wow! You can actually save your data and power off. Nice! Where was this option back in the day when the batteries were exchangeable by yourself instead of a rechargeable? My goodness, Digimon Digivices have advanced so much. So back in the day when you had low power on your battery, you take them out and eventually you might lose your data and you have to start the whole adventure again which is pretty annoying. Uh, luckily enough, um, they designed it in a way where one battery is more than enough to clear the entire story. Um, so yeah, that's that. So I guess the adventure on this one is pretty long, that's why they gave you the save option. Hmm, I might be wrong though, but still, pretty nice to have. Okay, let's see. Settings, so under settings, there is sound volume. The Digivice is currently at volume 2. What's the loudest? Okay, so 3 is the loudest. Wow, so at level 2, this thing is actually pretty loud already. That's pretty cool. Okay, clear all. So, what does clear all mean? Does that mean erase all your data? Okay, if that is what it is, I am definitely staying away from this. <laughs> um, stat speed, what is this? Wait, what? You can fast forward your game? So one shake equals to five steps? Oh my goodness. What is this? <laughs> Inbuilt cheat system. <laughs> okay, that's cool to have. Okay, clock settings. Okay, so you can change your time again. Vibration. Okay, we did feel the vibration while Patamon, uh, Tokumon was evolving to Patamon. So it's pretty nice. LED. So we can turn off the LED. Oh, it wouldn't be a Digivice without the LED option though. So, okay. Display brightness. How bright can it go? Ooh, ooh, four is the highest. My goodness, that is bright. Okay, I'm sticking with default. Don't want to drain that battery. Uh, sound volume. Yeah, we've gone through this already. Okay, so that's all for settings. Um, play mode. Digivolution. Okay. So I'm guessing you can just view all the evolution cycles. That's pretty nice. So yeah, best of both worlds like I mentioned. Ending, it's grayed out. So I'm guessing because we need to finish the whole game on the Digivice first. Hmm. Sound... Oh, we can listen to their calls. Oh, what is this now? Wow! We have full vo voice files from all the animes and movies, I guess. Wow! And it has all the Digi Destinies and the Digimons. Wow! Wait, but I wanted to hear more of Tai Chi though. Is there no options for like Tai Chi? Is it all Agumon only? Hmm. Interesting. So I'm guessing this option is for the... Yeah, so basically those are the voice scenes for the final episode for Digimon Adventure. Uh, let's not go into spoiler cat uh, category but I mean Digimon Adventure has been out for so long now but there are still younger generations who get to watch the Digimon series so... Hmm... <laughs> okay! I think that's it for this. Play mode. Linking, so linking versus Digivice and versus others. So I'm guessing if you want to fight with other generations of Digivices that is not this version, you have to use versus others if I'm not wrong. Oh wait, what? Okay, so you choose the Digimon you want to fight with, I guess. Is that what it means? 
Yeah, so it's trying to connect to a digi different device. So yeah, you basically choose the digi Digimon you want to fight with, then you connect it to the other Digivice that you want to fight with. So I'm guessing versus others is basically a different generation of the device, so that it links. So I, I think some modern Digivices have that um, to help, you know, uh, data reading issues, you know. Map. Yeah, Far Island. So I guess there's going to be different maps later on. Oh, what is this? Tropical? So the different points in the Bifau Island. But why is there an option for different categories? Hmm. Interesting. So I guess each area has Oh no 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 no. So I'm guessing each area has like um different events with different Digimon. Hmm. Okay, so that's it for map. So pressing the B button apparently does something as well. So it gives you like area clear 297. What? What does that mean? Okay, they even calculate how many steps you've taken. So I'm, I don't know if this is actually just for that particular Digimon or the entire game uh, with all the different varieties of Digimon that you, you can partner with. But yeah, that's pretty interesting. Let's see if this button does anything. Okay, so we have the clock here. So the top button is just the clock. Okay. How about the bottom button? What is this? Oh, the different items they collected. Cool, so pressing this you rotate through them. Okay. Oh! <laughs> so the other Digimon actually rotates according to how many partners you have in your collection, I guess. Uh, but the main one being Patamon will always be on the right side. Okay, so I pressed it down again. Hmm, what is this? Are they just roaming around and playing around? So A button doesn't respond. So B button just cancel it. Okay, let's see. Anything else from this down button? Oh, So I guess this is like some idle um, animations that you can have on the Digivice if you're not planning to play anything or basically just some um, white noise to have in the background Oh that's so cute, okay So I guess we've gone through everything on this Digivice I am just gonna leave it on this because I don't want to get copyrighted but anyway guys that's it for the Digivoice unboxing um, we're gonna end it with this last look at the Digimon promo card that comes with the DX set for those who of you who have been playing the Digimon card game this is probably one of the main reasons why you're probably buying this set because maybe you want to collect this promo card that has all the uh, Digidestined children and of course the individual crest logos and yeah, I have no idea if this card is actually very powerful to play with but I don't think anyone would want to buy 4 sets of this Digivice to play uh, you know, how many copies of this <laughs> you can have 4 copies of an individual card in the Digimon deck but usually I don't think you want to have like a 4 pieces of the same option card um, you know, in a deck unless its uh, effects are very very good uh, but I don't think you want to spend like how many US dollars on buying four sets of this? <laughs> that is ridiculous! Oh my goodness, I wish they would reframe promos like this in some special means for the fans who play the card game. If not, this is this is very expensive to use in a tournament. My goodness. Anyway guys, let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to hit the like button and share to all your friends who are interested to maybe buy one for themselves in the future or soon. Um, you know, before the market rate goes way crazily high. And until then guys, don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to announce some giveaways for maybe the Beyblade fans and the Macross fans. The Digimon fans, unfortunately, I 
uh, I don't really do a lot of Digimon content anymore so probably nothing for the Digimon side of stuff but I know uh, if you're sticking around for all the other things make sure to hit the subscribe button and of course I'll see you guys in the next video sometime soon until then Matane! Thank you.